Hey, everybody. On this week's top 10, it's going to be the top 10 things that we recommend to do during a lifestyle visit. This was sent in by one of you, and we're going to do it for you today. So sit back, get your drink, get your popcorn, and enjoy our suggestions of the top 10 things to do during a village's lifestyle visit. Let's go. This came in from one of our subscribers as a question that they wanted me to ask all of us about what to do. I forget the name of the subscriber. I should write that down. Things to do during a lifestyle visit. Yeah, seeing as how I'm already on here, why don't I just go first? How about that? That's a good well, question. Yeah. Good question. Yeah, yeah. First two things that I can think of right off the get-go is when you come here as a lifestyle visit, the number one thing here to do really is golf. That's what got this place going is all the free golf. So you're going to get a, a free game of golf uh, at a country club. So I would say do that. And uh, they'll provide you with clubs and everything, I believe, uh, to do all that. And the second thing you can do, as far as I'm concerned, is grab yourself a Coke, get a bag of popcorn, stop at any citizen's bank, popcorn is free. Get on the trolley <laughs> tour and ride around the trolley tour and listen to them tell you a little bit about the villages. Yeah. They'll take you through some neighborhoods. You can kind of get an idea of what it is, what it looks like, and you just sit back and relax and enjoy yourself. That'd be the two things that I would recommend. <laughs> okay <laughs> what's the question <laughs> <laughs> you can't remember your oh, own question. question okay oh thanks. yeah lifestyle visit yeah thanks for doing a lifestyle visit okay the first thing i would say is go to the square to any one of, any one of the squares and go to a restaurant and then after you eat dinner go out and listen to the band that's playing at the square that would be like one whole activity and then the other thing is, I would say, go through the recreation um, newspaper, pick some things that you're interested in that you think either that you might like to do in the future or something that you already know you want to do. Either go to a recreation center where it's going on. And if it's not a real crowded thing or you don't have to have any prerequisite before you can participate, go to that. And so, I mean, like, you could do like something if you wanted to go to a sewing guild or you wanted to go to an archery place or pickleball or water volleyball or something like that that you could do. Sometimes you might not be able to do it like water volleyball. I doubt you'd be able to do it, but splish splash you might be able to. They yeah, might so. be able to talk with your sales agent and they might say, hey, I'm interested in pickleball and the sales agent might be able to set up something. Well, on, on Thursdays, you- they have the rec news. And in the rec news, it'll give you the person that's involved in that. And you can call them and, you know, and, and because I've heard of a lot of people that got irritated because they'd come down here and I said they wanted to play this or that. And then they couldn't, they had to take a review course before they could even get on the courts, that kind of thing. Right. And if you can Why would you, you recommend, Linda, for your <laughs> lifestyle visit? <laughs> for... My suggestion, if you come down to do a lifestyle visit, I would do two things. In addition to the things that others have already said, I would actually go look at some model homes. I would tour some homes. If you look in the newspaper, the happy paper, as we call it, uh, every day it shows you the uh, model homes that are are open to look at. And I think some of them will go from like 9 o'clock to 11 o'clock. And then the next one goes from like 11 o'clock to 1 o'clock. And then another one goes from 3 o'clock to 5 o'clock, something like that. So they go on all day. So it doesn't, you, you don't have to rush to, to get it early in the morning or late in the afternoon. There's something open and something's open almost every day. And it gives you a feel of what the houses look like, what some of the models are. It, it, I think it's a great thing to do if you have any interest at all in coming here. I think it's good to see the houses. So that would be one of my suggestions. And the, oh, the other suggestion is when you do a lifestyle visit, you get two bicycles and they give you a golf cart too. So my suggestion in particular is to take the golf cart and go explore in a golf cart because I think that's totally different than you can do in a lot of places. And as Skip will tell you, there's different ways to get around 
the villages in a golf cart, then Sue will tell you there's ways to get around in a car. So I think it's a lot of fun and also a way to see different things in the villages that you may not see as well if you ride a car. So my suggestion is to go look at model homes and also take the golf cart and just mosey all around and see what you I mean, see. You can check the model homes with the golf cart. Yeah. So I, I said you that. get to see the, the lifestyle by going by golf cart. That's yes. right. That's right. I think that gives you a good feeling of what our lifestyle is all about if you take the golf cart and travel around. So the, the lifestyle is that you don't have to be worried about the agents, the sales agents no. being pushy about wanting mm -hmm. you to buy a house. They let you take the lead. And a lot of people are intimidated by taking a lifestyle visit because they think, oh, they're going to be really pushy and it's going to be like a timeshare or something where they come no. in and, you know, it's like pushing and pushing and pushing. And it's not like that at all. You don't have to have a representative if you don't want one. You can just say, no, I want to do this on my own and they'll leave you alone. No? Yeah. But if you want somebody, the nice thing is that somebody will take you around, they'll drive you around and show you where things are. So you got the option. You can have a representative show you around or you can be independent and go on your own. And they've recently opened a whole new section of model homes. So they move them around and then they sell the model homes at some, yes. some stage. So right mm -hmm. now they've opened a whole new slew of model homes. So Jose, you're absolutely right. You may only be able to see a couple if you go on your own, go to the newspaper and look at when they're open and you go on your own. But if you go with your representative, then they can take you into every single model that they've got yeah. out there with a model. So. I remember. All right, that's enough of that. Sue, give me uh, two things that you can recommend to do during a lifestyle visit. Well, you know, something I, I, I usually tell everybody that visits down here, you know, that to take the boat ride. They've got a little boat ride yeah, in Lake Sumter. We did that too. And then, you know, Lake Sumter is not big. It's a man-made lake. The people on the boat, they're, they're just terrific storytellers. And mm -hmm. uh, and I said, it's not a very long ride, uh, but it, it's, it's nice, especially on a hot day. You're out there, you know, the out on the water and you can see the whole town from the boat, which right. it gives you a, a different view of the town. Mm -hmm. uh, wave at the people at the lighthouse restaurant, that kind of thing. But I, I, I think it's more the storytelling on the boat that that's the fun part to me. It was anyhow. Yeah. I've took the kids, you know, I've took the granddaughters and, and, and I said, they all really had a good time. Cause I said, and it's, great it's only two bucks, two bucks per yeah. person. Yeah. It's very cheap. That much and they have special days like they have uh, days when you can take your dog <laughs> they have like, grandparents day uh, they you know they got special days uh, but but like it's, it's a lot of fun not a big deal it, you know, it didn't take very long i think what 20 minutes at the most 20 25 minutes max yeah yeah, yeah but, but it, it's fun and just a fun thing to do and and another thing i'd suggest you eat at a country club um mm. And, and I said, too. if you can, on the outs outside area, um, because the views are spectacular. The food, sometimes. <laughs> but mm -hmm. but just being in those clubs, it, it's like the, the rec centers. They they don't seem to skimp on the way they look. They they all are beautiful. And, and I said, the views, and I said, from the outside, you usually on a golf course, around a golf course, something like that. And, and it's really, really pretty. And you kind of get... It's another one of those, you feel the lifestyle that way, you know, that I could do this every night. <laughs> but, but yeah, that's a, the two things that I, I would suggest, you know, is take that little boat ride and, and then eat at a country club and, and visit all the rec centers if you can. I know in, in a lifestyle visit, you don't have that many days. And I said, if, if you can't do all of them, do the regional rec centers. They, they don't spare any, any decorating dollars there. They, they're all very, very beautiful. Hey, Jose, give us your two. The first recommendation I'd say, when you do the lifestyle, they're going to give you tickets to see a show. Definitely don't miss that because those shows are more fun than you can think of. Like when they gave us hours, I believe there was a band called Almost ABBA that they sing and look like ABBA. Mm -hmm. And I went, all right, let's go see that. And we had, we had a ball. And yeah, use the tickets because they're going to give you that. And I don't know what band, I don't know what show, Ours was in the, at the Savannah Center. There's a lot of shows there. I call the Savannah Center the low-cost shows and the Sharon Moores, the high-end acts, like the 75 and above. That's the way I see it. So, But uh, don't miss that. They're going to give you the ticket for that. The second one is, I know Sue mentioned it a little bit, but go to the rec centers, especially the big ones. Don't, don't miss Eisenhower. I, to me, 
uh, although I'm not a military guy, my brother is, and all my friends are, that is an awesome rec center. The yes. way the way it was designed, like for example, we found a Japanese flag that was captured at one moment in war, like a real flag. Uh, mm -hmm. it's stuff like that, that is very unique. It's not just a, a printout. It's real stuff that somebody either died for, unfortunately, or somebody had it for years and then the grandpa died and they donated. And it's like a little museum, but with real, real um, items. And I enjoy the design. The design of the Rec Center is awesome. It's very presidential. Uh, it, it's very cool. How about the yeah. first response, the new first responders? Um, is it like that too? Don't, didn't people it's, donate things for yes. there? Yes, it's a smaller version. I don't think that's a regional, that's like a neighborhood, I call it. Uh, it's a smaller version, but yes, the first responder is also uh, items donated. And they, they um, how you call the a quilt with the little squares, right? That for when you do a big quilt and they have little squares with different stuff, um, they built the, the village's quilt club, I guess. They built like three of those huge with different patches for all the units from everywhere. Um, and I we found the Puerto Rico police patch. I'm going, Maria went, oh my God, he's the Puerto Rico police. Said, what the hell is that doing here? And so, so it's, it's beautiful. From a patch. And then they no, somebody donate them. somebody donates the patches from the unit, and they have so many of them. They these these huge quilts, and they frame them, and they're hanging on the on the on the halls. Plus, <laughs> as Linda mentioned, all different uh, items and uh, oh, there's there's the place that there's a nine uh, U.S. flag that when you look close, it has all the names. It's it's made of all the names of the people that die in 9/11. Like you look, you look at from far and it's a US flag. You keep looking closer and closer and you can actually read every name of everybody that dies in 9-11 is, is that, made that flag. Okay, there you have it, folks. That's our top 10 things to do. You heard a few more in there also, but at least you got top 10 things that we recommend to do during your lifestyle visit. If you have any suggestions, send them to me. I'll put them in with the crew, and we'll look at them, and maybe we'll do them, and maybe we won't. But we did one this week, so whoever sent that in, thank you. And with that being said, I'll see you on the other side, and keep watching for more.